tell us, reveal all of his secrets. So if you with my Nikki, dun, 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 gonna grab. Dun, dun, dun. People that never make mistakes are people that never tried. We did a very good job. Sounds like a beast, like a growling beast. Absolutely worth it. Absolutely worth it. Pico, you're all excited to take me? Yeah, we're gonna go get to pick up the bike. Huh, Pico? <laughs> you're excited to pick up the bike? Yeah? You excited? <laughs> you're excited? Me too, me too. Yeah, let's go. Back at Nadal's place, picking up. Picking up Blackbird right here. Gonna get dressed, it's uh, nicer, not, not as cold. Gonna ride back home, get, uh, let you know the first impressions of the cam swap. Of the Zippers 468 Raw with the Fuel Pack 3 and the Fuel Pack 3 Map by Vance and Hines. I'm all bundled up again. It's 45. Sounds much deeper. Wow, okay. Pass through that ice. Let me turn around. Look like warm up. Wow, I have vibrations. God, the sound, what a rumble, holy, wow. Oh, the pull. Wow. <laughs> oh my God, just the sound. Oh my God, the sound. Oh, look at the difference. The throttle response. Look at this. There's like no lag. There's no lag between the, uh, the second I hit the throttle and the kick that I feel in my back from my from my uh, backrest. Oh my God! It's just like opening up an afterburner. Oh my! Let me get this on camera. There we go, we got the 360 footage going on, on nice and warm. Oh, you hear that? You hear that? <laughs> oh my God. Wow, I'll bring it up to the highway and feel the, feel the torque, if it's linear or not, the curve, you know? If there are any dips, if I can feel any dips, let's put it that way. But I can definitely feel the difference. Yeah. Oh, gotta be 
careful, we're in town over here. There we go, to the parkway. Wow, guys, what a... What an adventure I've been through. We've all been through the last few days. Now finally picking up. I st we started the, this whole uh, this whole journey Sunday. That was our first day of the build. Where uh, our uh, our journey ended prematurely due to a stubborn stubborn bolt that snapped on us next day which actually you're seeing the video you saw the video probably a few days ago how we extracted the bolt took it to a local shop and then trailer the bike back home and continue the job and then we faced more <laughs> more trouble which was actually you know a small mistake with all the all the things going around with the live stream of FNR FNR's live stream I put a lot of pressure on us, on me at least, because you know you're trying to do so many things. And anyway, when I put that uh, that air cleaner back together again, I forgot about that clip, that that uh, wire that actually when I took the bike apart, I tucked it in. I tucked it on between between uh, the head the head of the motor and the fuel tank, so it doesn't fall down and, and uh, disturb while we're doing with the, uh, dealing with the push rods. So I tucked it all the way up on top. So when we were putting uh, the air cleaner back together again, it didn't, it didn't pop up. It didn't look at me and say, hey, connect me. So I just forgot about it completely. That was drama. Actually, it was, if you look at it back, it's like a drama, a TV, a TV drama show. And now I waited one day when it was poor weather yesterday. It was snowing and raining. And today the weather cleared up and it's uh, 40, 40 degrees. So actually I'm a little bit too hot. Too hot inside uh, inside my uh, jacket over here. But uh, I prefer that. I prefer sweating than freezing my ass off. Wait a minute, buddy. And now picking up the bike and feeling like the first time I'm actually riding the bike and feeling a difference. Currently I'm in fifth gear and uh, 2000 RPM, so I don't really feel the pull. But once I'll be able to get out to the open. Yeah, but you definitely feel the increase in torque. I got the torque cam. I definitely feel it. Yeah, you hit the throttle and your body is thrown back. What a rumble. I mean, if you like the, the sound of the Pro Pipe 2 into 1 stock, then you gotta try with a, with a Stage 2. So much deeper and angrier. It's like an angry little pipe. Listen to that thump. Taka, 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 taka. Boom. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Woo, I'm too hot. I'm going to open up the jacket a little bit. I'm sweating over here. I have a plan already to tune. I said uh, I will uh, definitely tune, professionally tune the bike. So I have really, really uh, cool content planned already. I spoke with JD Cycles yesterday with Dave we have a clue we have a very very cool uh, plan for the videos that are going to be coming for the tune going to do like a, a comparison 
uh, between before and after and we'll even compare like the fuel pack compared to the stock tune that he's gonna put in and then after that he's gonna tweak the, t the tuner that the new tuner that he's gonna put in and he's gonna do another dyno run and another dyno row another dyno run and show us actually the difference between three hopefully we'll be able to do that three different graphs stock where you see it right now with the fuel pack on it with his tuner on it and finally with his tuner but that he tweaked so that should be an amazing amazing video and we'll go you know I'll ask him all the difficult questions all the little details uh, of the tune itself what he does he said he'll tell me as much as he can without you know without uh, helping out his competition he'll tell us reveal all of his secrets so if you guys actually have any questions just write down by the comments what do you want me to ask him when we're doing that uh, that tune and I'll, I'll write those down write those questions down on ask him so down by the comments go ahead and uh, be specific I already know one question that people want to know is why is he standing beside the bike and not on the bike so we're gonna ask him that actually I talked to him about that yesterday and I said listen how about you show me also uh, the difference between you you being on the bike or on the side he said sure I'll show you we'll do that as well so really interesting uh, video gonna be coming in the next few weeks hopefully I can get it done before we get we head down to Daytona uh, so here we go we got to the highway so now be able to feel to feel the bike I gotta be careful I gotta not, not do something stupid with all of this excitement Oops. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> so much more power. Oh, my God. I'm a... I'm at a certain speed now on fifth gear. Holy crap. get off the throttle I get off the throttle I, I feel the forks uh, not collapsing but uh, going forward the whole bike dipping so while I'm hitting the throttle it's stretching it's stretching the front uh, shocks and when I let off the gas it, it dives it's, it's so much louder that I actually need to start using uh, earplugs I'm at dip speed and I hit it I still got power Wow for the last year year and a half since I've had the bike was very happy with the stock 107 I didn't feel that I needed uh, to upgrade or to add performance because you know I was enjoying the bike just the way it is and obviously if you have a chance to upgrade and the means to do it it's well worth it you get more performance out of your bike actually obviously that's how a Harley meant meant for the bike to be anyway only reason they gave you the detuned or the retuned stock bike is because they have to uh, comply with the emissions EPA emissions so 
if they had no restrictions, obviously they put a better, better performing, uh, better performing components on it that would give way more power. But they will not comply with the EPA requirements. So, so they give a bike that complies, and then the aftermarket uh, enjoys enjoys all the spare, like all the swaps, the new parts, new cams, new pipes. Even Harley does it himself with uh, the whole stage, Screaming Eagle program. So obviously, this is uh, more powerful, more exciting. Absolutely worth it. And as I've shown on my uh, short uh, series, the, the few last few videos, if you have the option to do it yourself with friends or just by yourself, do it. Worst case is you take it to a, a shop and they fix uh, fix your mistakes. I spoke with one of my friends over the phone. Actually, I spoke with my dad, and I told him all about it. And he's like kind of old school, so he was like, you know, you should be uh, you should be careful with uh, when you're doing things like that to, to your bike. And I said, Dad, what can happen? Worst case, I just bring it to the shop and they fix it up. It's not that I'm doing any per some kind of permanent damage. That's the thing. If you, at one point, while you're working, you're feeling, okay, I've, I've reached my limit and I don't know what I'm doing. You just stop and take the bike to a shop and they'll finish the job for you. And you'll learn a lot. So I said, Dad, People that never make mistakes are people that never tried. So yeah, you try, you learn, you make mistakes, you learn even more. That's what it is. He says, yeah, you're right. What's he doing? I'll take a, a super, but I'll do it in say Oh, you need your card? Okay. The, the most expensive one. The most expensive one? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let me try to answer the question, should I upgrade to a stage two? Let me tell you the facts. The difference is uh, obvious. The throttle, throttle response is noticeable, quicker, faster response the power is significantly uh, noticeable let's put it that way definitely feel the power uh, increase obviously you can hear from my excitement uh, before the sound the sound uh, change it's much deeper much more powerful sounds like a beast like a growling beast so the increase in performance is noticeable, the sound is noticeable. It is a noticeable difference. Now as to putting a price tag on it, well that is actually something I can't really answer because it's very personal. I was having fun on the bike stock 107 and I'm having a little bit more fun. Actually, I'm having a lot more fun on this uh, Stage 2 107. Now, is it worth, I don't know, $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 dollars more? I don't know. That's really a personal, uh, that's up to you. It's like, you know, that uh, commercial of, uh, I don't know, MasterCard or Visa, this, this, and this cost $10, this $2, $20, this $400 and a smile from your grandchild, priceless. So this is one of those things that I, I can't really answer and tell you, oh yeah, absolutely, this is worth $3,000. My, my increase in, in joy, oh shit, wait a second. Woo. My increase uh, in joy and fun and having way more fun, is it worth $3,000 uh, $3, more, $4,000 more? That's something that you need, you need to decide. But I can definitely tell you, there's a to there's a real noticeable improvement in the performance. It's absolutely noticeable the difference 
uh, the improvement in performance, the power, the responsiveness, the agility of the bike, of the engine, the sound, the whole experience is greater, better, improved, noticeable. You decide if that's, uh, if that's something that you want and how much money you're willing to pay for it. I did it on a budget, like I said, I only uh, changed and swapped the parts that are absolutely needed and I had my buddies uh, work with me, actually do the job with me and guide me through the steps. It was fun and in my end, in my, uh, in my eyes, absolutely worth it, absolutely worth it. I'm loving it. By the way, I'm, I'm, we're halfway there to, uh, to the Advan Black uh, Saddlebag Liner giveaway. So we're halfway there, and I truth is, I don't know why uh, why you guys uh, that I didn't send me an email yet uh, are not doing it. It's it's a fr it's free entries, so just go ahead and do it. That's it. Uh, I'll uh, once I get home, I'll do a little short update. I'm almost home. Well, I'm back where I started 96 hours ago. Remember 96 hours ago I said it's either genius or foolish? Uh, genius or total foolishness or idiot. It's, it's the borderline between being a genius and being a total fool. I think this case I'm a fool riding at this temperature. Well, not foolish, genius. Let me try to explain to you. Before I had the stage two, I would hit the, while cruising, I would hit uh, the throttle on the highway and you hear the bike saying to you uh, let me try let me try and now with the stage two you hit the throttle and it's like let me show you let me show you so totally worth it really really cool upgrade you should try it too guys see this is one one more reason i'm really happy about it after this ride look at the engine spotless not one drip not one stain of oil. We did a very good job and nothing on the bottom. So really happy about that as well. And the new chrome cover. Nico, I'm home, yeah, yeah. Yeah, buddy, yeah, of course. Look, he's always excited to see me. Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, yeah, you heard me, you heard me with the new uh, stage two, okay, we're, we're here again, guys, here again, with, with my Nikki, I'm gonna grab, every time, every time I come, it's our tradition, yeah, every time I pick her up, uh, I bring her over here, Another falafel for her and shawarma for me. Yummy. Nothing, not serious. This time I went for the mix instead of the pita. I took it in a plate. Lamb, falafel balls, salad, tomatoes, yumminess. Yeah. I got the Manhattan instead of, I usually get the uh, West Village. Yummy. Fresh lemonade, real. Squeezed lemonade. Got I wish you could taste his goodness. <laughs> that was a good bite. That was a really good bite.